Okay. Hi, Jess. Hi, uh, Jean. <laughs> um, I promised you to make a, a video about uh, the essence of Aikido. So what makes Aikido Aikido? And some were dramatic, and it is in a way, but um, yeah, it's, it's not so complicated. Normally, people look at the guy who's doing the technique, because in that case, it's me. And he grabs me, and I'm doing the technique, and then he says, yeah, oh, oh, this is a typical Aikido technique. It is. It's a technique where we have in Jiu-Jitsu, we find that in, in, adult, in a lot of other martial arts. That's not typically Aikido. What is typically Aikido is the way we do it. So normally, it's done the way that he can't escape it, and I'm punishing him. But if I train it the Aikido way, Given room to escape, you make a roll. And this is not a throw. People call it a nagi, but it's not a throw. The thing is, if you watch, I'm not throwing him. I just have his hand, and he jumps. That's not a throw. A throw would be, for example, something like this. So here, I have thrown him, but in that case, I didn't. He just jumps. And he does this actively. <clears throat> and it's a way of escaping this lock. So I'm trying to apply this lock here. And what he does is he rolls. And this roll is the escape. And we have that in many, many, many techniques in IQ. Most people think, oh, this is a throw. Oh, this master is so cool. He uses just a finger or a hand to throw these guys around. No. These guys are jumping around. They are not thrown. They are jumping. He's jumping by himself. He's using the roll to escape the lock. So the very interesting part in Aikido is not in the Nagero, it's on the Uke side, the guy who's receiving the technique. This makes Aikido typical, like typically Aikido training. 